Hello and welcome to pmclounge.com. In this video, we are talking about analogous estimation, but I'd like to quickly remind you if you are into reading articles rather than watching videos, you can always head over to pmclounge.com. That is where you will find related articles for all our videos that you see on this YouTube channel. So analogous estimation, the first link in the description will take you to the article of analogous estimation. Now analogous, the word itself comes from another word called analogy which means drawing comparisons uh, for the sake of clarification or explanation so that is what analogous should be about let's look into the definitions and study analogous estimation so analogous estimation it is basically an estimation technique that can be used for calculating several project parameters especially the two pointed out here duration and cost so this is where uh, in project management the technique analogous estimation is used the most now the estimates are basically based on historical data by comparing the current activity with a similar activity that took place in the past so what you basically do is you look at the activity in hand that you need to estimate and then you draw comparisons with a similar activity that you have already performed in the past and then you come up with an estimate of sorts about how much time or how much cost it will take to do that activity so this is obviously a kind of expert judgment because what you're doing here is making a judgment of uh, the estimate that it is going to take right and you are also using a dash of historical data here you're not simply looking at the activity and making a judgment about it on how much cost or how much time it will take but you're also referring to historical data and that is why it is not something which you can say is expert judgment but it is a separate entry in the tools and techniques which is analogous estimation do keep in mind that you are not doing any kind of calculations here you are simply making a judgment based on the data at hand now let's look at an example of analogous estimation so previously projects of this size so the project that you're doing previously the projects of this size took four weeks for design activity so it should be the same this time around so basically the project you are assigned to you look at it and you believe that the projects of this size have previously taken four weeks for design so you uh, estimate that it will take four weeks to complete design for this project now the key here is to identify similarities you cannot look at a previous project which has no similarity with the current project and then make any kind of estimation remember the word analogous comes from analogy and you have to draw comparisons if you have to draw comparisons you have to look at similarities you cannot compare apples and oranges so that is the reason why analogous estimation will not work in situations which aren't similar in projects which are not similar in activities which are not similar so similarity is the one thing which is the key that you need to take care of in this technique a quick reminder here if you're wondering what books to use for pmp preparation head over to pmclounge.com resources and you can uh, buy the books we have listed there our favorite books now some of the advantages of uh, analogous estimating first one is that it is a simple technique you are basically making use of historical data you are not using any kind of software you're not using any kind of formula you're not doing any kind of calculations this is a simple technique you are simply referring to historical data here now this is also very advantageous when only a few details about the project are known so you only know very little details about the project still by drawing analogy by drawing comparisons you can come up with a other than that you can come up with estimates pretty quickly as well you don't since you're not making use of any formula you're not doing any calculations this is something which is pretty quick next up since we are only drawing comparisons from historical data this technique is also helpful in estimating tasks in the wbs so 
although you can obviously come up with schedule estimates your cost estimates but you can also take a look at wbs and the tasks listed in those wbs and you can also do estimation for those tasks because we are only looking at similar tasks which were performed in previous projects and you can do analogous estimation right away the organization's own historical project data is being used so the accuracy is pretty high i'll talk a bit about this point because you may think of this technique the analogous estimation technique as something which will not give accurate estimates right isn't that something that you would think because you're not making any calculations you're simply drawing comparisons but think of it this way you are drawing comparisons from historical data of your own organization not from an industry perspective you're not drawing comparisons on how long does the industry take to deliver an app you are drawing comparisons on how long your own company took in the past to deliver an app and that is why your estimates will actually have pretty high accuracy because these estimates are tailored to your organization not the industry as a whole or not the general uh, guidelines as a whole are there any disadvantages that you can think of well here's one that i'd give you and definitely if you have any other disadvantages that you can see uh, in this technique do drop them in the comments but here's one i'll give you to walk away with and that's the fact that you need historical data you need a database and you need historical data to be preserved and prevented so that this technique can be used for future projects if you don't have historical data if your organization is doing first project right this is your first project then you cannot do analogous estimation if your organization is all about developing apps and you are taking up a project which is about developing a website you cannot use analogous estimation so one of the disadvantages of this technique is that you should have a database of historical data handy you should have delivered similar projects in the past to make use of this kind of technique now in conclusion here's the thing ideally you should be using analogous estimation only in the starting stages of your project only in the beginning only in the initial phases when you have very limited information on the project in hand right if you have detailed information then go with other tools and techniques of estimation which will give you more accurate and more uh, reliable data than maybe analogous estimation could come up with now the other thing is this point i'd like to take up this point and spend a a minute on it a lot of times as a project manager and let me know in the comments if you have also landed up in a situation where someone from higher management or someone uh, who is an executive in an, in your company someone from the top management can come up to you and ask you okay you have delivered abc project in the past we are thinking about taking up an xyz project based on your experience how much time and how much budget will it take to deliver xyz we are asking you this question because we are kind of looking into selecting this project whether or not to select this project to take up that decision we need high level estimates from your end can you give that estimates can you provide that estimates by tomorrow now what do you do the only thing that you know about this project is maybe a high level a uh, scope of the project a very high level scope of the project and you know that you have delivered a project of this sort in the past so what do you do here is you make use of analogous estimation technique you refer to the previous project that you have already delivered you refer to abc project and you draw parallels and you come up with estimation of cost and estimation of schedule for the xyz project in time because you can come up with the estimations pretty quickly making use of analogous estimation technique right so you come up with those estimates and you provide those estimates to the executives you provide those estimates to the top management the higher management and you tell them that they these are my high level estimates now you can make use of these estimates and you can 
perform your project selection techniques you can perform your project selection um, whatever that you want to do and you can come up with uh, speak with our marketing and come up with the revenue that you, the company can make out of this project right you can uh, basically think and take a decision whether it is a good opportunity to take up this project or not this is where analogous estimation is mostly used this is where analogous estimation is going to be very very handy i have been in this situation personally many times let me know in the comments if you have been in such situation as well so that's all that we had about analogous estimation do hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and learned something about it subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you haven't done so already and don't forget to check us out on our website pmclounge.com your number one free pmp resource and also on our social media pmc lounge is our handle on facebook twitter and youtube thank you